Hello everyone, this is Prashant. Welcome to my channel. So we are in a Playwright series. Uh, today uh, we are going to see one of our uh, comments from the previous uh, one of our uh, video. So like that, one of them asked how to take all the text in a page. Okay, like wherever the text in the page. So uh, like using, uh, because previously we saw only one to store only one web element. Today we are going to store how like total web elements in a one single variable. How, how can I use it? Next, another main topic of any coding language is exception handling. Today we are going to see how implement a try catch in Python as well as in the playwright. Okay, so both are two important, but like good topics. So basically, I will show like suppose you want all this text, like take this all the text. Okay, so I'm right clicking in and inspecting it this tag. So see this, this entire is going to be comes under the B tag. This is the text, right? It's coming under the B tag. If I take another next row, here also the B tag. So what is the common between all these things? The B tag. So, so I'm going to take the B tag, but see this in all the places uh, B tag, there are so more than one. So how can we store more than one? So I'm going to create a new, for that I'm going to create a new file python file like this is a list and try catch both okay so i'm going to create a new file so in this new file as usual from playwright dot sync api so i'm going to maximize little for your uh, visibility okay so from this import sync playwright this is as usual from uh, old like all the classes with the sync playwright i am taking a playwright as a p from this as usual we are going to create a browser equal to p dot chrome dot launch in the headless mode as false next after that going to create a context from the uh, browser I'm creating a new context from this context I'm going to create a new page context dot new page after that we need to go to the URL so using the uh, go to method so I'm going to pass the URL so so what is the URL this is my URL so you can go to any page okay so see this i took all the things okay so right now what is our task we need to get all the b tags so i'm going to create elements and so i'm giving one variable from the page dot select like query selector previously we used only query selector today we are going to use a query selector all all so which is the tag i'm going to take a b tag okay i'm going to get the b tag so right now it takes all the b's on the in the web element in the elements so when i keep a cursor on the elements you can see what is storing it is storing a list list is kind of a array in a like it's kind of one of a data structures concept so it will stores more than one elements okay first thing is i'm going to show you how many is there so i'm for that uh, here I'm going to give a command. So this is a storing multiple elements using list. Okay, list concept. Okay, list. After that, I'm going to print the size of the list. So how can I take length method? I want to pass the element. What is my elements? Elements is my variable. So I'm passing the elements. So length method is to find the length of a list. Suppose list contains four means this will length will bring the value as a four. Okay. After that, I'm going to print each one of that from the list. So how, how to use it? I'm going to use a for loop for i in the elements. Okay. Inside the for loop, I'm going to print simply i dot how to take the text from the web element 
using the text content method in interview they will ask you how you will uh, read a text from a web element so you want to use the web element dot text content this is the method to read the text okay and after that i'm going to wait for a couple of seconds in the page to uh, to load the page page dot wait for timer like two seconds another things in python the order should be proper if it is you are completing a p means it will start from here if you're uh, like for loop is running you want to start from here if you click on enter automatically this alignment will properly comes so alignment is very necessary if you are giving wrong alignment uh, python can't able to understand in java and all we give curly braces we can able to understand but in python only the alignment is makes sense okay. see this there are the output is total 14 b tags in that web page in the web page there are totally 14 web, like uh, b tags okay b tags so it's printed all the 14 if you see this secium readability so see this secium readability there are 7 in this page when i click on the serial here also there are 7 so totally 14 b tags and it takes all the things even this is another entry question so if anyone asking what is like they will broken links testing broken link means in a web page we will test all the links what is the link suppose if we take this website when i click this facebook means it go to the facebook page because it's a link actually okay that is how the page entirely suppose i'm clicking this logo means it's maybe some go to some web element so i'm right this element see this a so a tag is a tag is used for anchoring like link even you can see this href that is the attribute name which contains the text okay if in the interview they will ask you how you will take all the all the links in a page how you will take it so what is the tag name i just now taught you a so a indicates the anchor tag it's a link tag okay so in the same page you want to give the a so all it will take all the links in this web element and it will print the size okay in this i don't want a text seriously uh, see uh, like here i don't want a text i want a print printing i dot get attribute which attributes has the link just now i taught you href this tag only holds the links href like reference okay so i'm going to pass this href in a string so this get attribute method is help us to get the attribute of the web element so if it goes to the a tag what are the attributes there href on this attribute class is on attribute but right now i need href so that's why i'm giving simply giving href so this will go to the all the web elements in the page it takes the href attribute value and it's printed okay that's simple right so this is how we need to take all grouping group the all the elements in a one variable and we can use a print it okay so that is the coolest thing so here we are using list concept this is the python's topic okay see this it took all the there, were, there are totally 45 a tags in this page so these are the the pages these are href values okay cool ready i told you told right facebook twitter because that also if i uh, inspect this facebook see clearly see this a tag href is what facebook dot automation testing 2016 see this right the href value so that is how we need to take all the links from the tag and uh, the person was asking the question how to take the text so you want to find all the texts are which mostly the a la label even the label also sometimes contain but not in this website in real time websites you just inspect the text see what tag the text is coming like it is label or the p tag or a bold tag any tags anything is fine for me take that using the core page query selector all this is the matter all it takes all the tag and stores the element and you can use text content method to read it okay cool right so this i'm going to use the next coolest topic try catch or exception handling what is the exception handling basically the entry question that is for exception handling suppose this code is almost 14 lines able to see right 
the 14th line code is ending okay suppose if i am giving a wrong web element or some wrong things in a middle na what will happen the code will stop in the ninth line if it is i am doing wrong in anything in this place na it will fail on the sixth line okay but i want the result where it is exactly the failed so how can i take it okay so i can i print it what is the error really happen so that place is you want to handle the exceptions so there are so many ways to handle exception but try catch is the most recommended way okay see here after that the method starting i am putting try try and colon another thing is if, as i said before if i give a try means you want to bring all the code under the try okay that is the most important part because if you are outside means it won't print okay see this all are comes under try after the try i am going to put the here what i am going to i am going to accepting see here i am going to expect the you can give any type i am giving exception as e inside i am going to print if any exception comes means i will print the exception into as a string str indicates what string whatever you giving inside str it will convert as a string so i am telling whatever is exception is coming here print in here okay next important another one uh, interview question finally what is the use of finally okay so finally whatever happens the exception occurs or not whatever code you are giving inside this it will execute like execute i am giving like execute itself the text okay if this exception occurs or if exception occurs now it will go to the exception catch block if exception not happens now it won't go to this but finally means either exception occurs or not exception occurs also the finally whatever the code inside finally it will execute so that is the answer for that finally keyword used in the try catch block either exception occurs or not occurs this finally block code will execute okay so i'm going to give a wrong i'm going to create a one no like one no one wrong uh, like x path or anything okay i'm going to create a wrong x path see here so i'm i'm giving some random a and d in this block something dot click obviously you know this is a wrong something this is like like uh, not a uh, useful one okay not uh, equal to i'm giving a wrong wrong x path after that i'm going to click okay i do anything so i'm not all so no normal x path in that x path i'm giving click so obviously you guys know this is a wrong x path wrong x path okay if if there is no try catch means it will fail on the 10th line exactly but right now we have the what exception only it will stop in 10th line but it will execute what is the real failure where the real failure occurs see here unsupport token is at self while passing the selector see this if we didn't have exception now you can guys see the red line will come some uh, some normal things will come and another thing is good thing see this execute is run because that is we give run the finally whatever happens in this code this final block code will execute so that's why the execute is printed okay this is the try catch okay so uh, you guys have uh, will try i hope so try catch is a most important question in the real time as well as uh, if you go join in the company you need to use it okay cool uh, thanks for joining if you have faced any issues or any uh, things you want to cover let me in the comment and tomorrow we are going to see the web table okay that is another person's commented in a previous video web table so tomorrow we are going to see the web table in the project after the web table we will try the framework we go to little to the playwright framework uh, like how to execute more than one file those framework level stuff okay so thanks for joining in if you like the video please like subscribe and share to your friends